Here are the starters. Number one, Smoke and Source, home by Jerry and Helen Logan of Coffeyville, Kansas. Jerry Logan, the trainer. Brent Holland, the driver. Number two, R's Triumph, owned by Diana Hendricks, by Carlos Brown and Linda Reckling, trained by Dennis Gardner. Mike Cox is the driver. Number three, Jimmy the Gun, owned by John Leahy, by Anderson Racing Incorporated, and by Michael Neal, trained and driven by Joe Anderson. Number four, Buckmaster, owned by Linda Beal and John David Finn of Altamont and Newton, trained and driven by J.D. Finn. Number five is Fox Valley Shark, owned by Benita Simmons and Cheryl Clough, trained by Tom Simmons. He's the driver. Number six, Classic Rodney, owned by Kenneth Buck of Denison, Iowa, trained by Bob Newman, the driver, Rick Schrock. Number seven, Hillbilly's a good one, owned by Tim Davis and Dave Martin, trained and driven by Dave Martin. And number eight, Holly Hill Eagle, owned and trained by Gary Gorell of Newton. The driver is Rick Gorell. Post time in just five minutes. With over $1 million in purses up for grabs, Super Night in Chicago on Saturday, September 18. Many of the same horses that you will see later today will be in contention. Right now, here they come for Trotters in race seven. Classic Rodney is off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Jimmy the Gun trots out for the early lead. Buckmaster gets away second. Smoke and Source comes away trotting in third on the inside of R's Triumph. And there goes Hillbilly's a good one, moving up from fifth on the outside around Fox Valley Shark, who trots sixth. Then Holly Hill Eagle is seventh. And Classic Rodney is off stride, trailing the field. Buckmaster has made the top now and Buckmaster leads it by a length. Hillbilly's a good one, is second by less than a length. Jimmy the Gun is shuffled to third, 29 and three for the opening quarter, and Hillbilly's a good one, keeps moving up on the outside and takes the lead from Buckmaster by a length and a half. Jimmy the Gun is third as they move on to the back stretch, three lengths off the leader. Then Smokin' Source is fourth on the inside, just in front of R's Triumph, Holly Hill Eagle, up close, only eight lengths off the lead, but then a large gap back to Fox Valley Shark, who is followed by Classic Rodney as they trot toward the far turn. The half in a minute, two-fifths. Hillbilly's a good one. Leads it by a length and a half. Buckmaster second by two. Jimmy the Gun is third. Then Smoke and Source. R's Triumph and Holly Hill Eagle. Fox Valley Shark is next. He's got a lot of ground to make up. And Classic Rodney is still far back as they move on the far turn now. Here's Jimmy the Gun putting in his bid for the lead. He's up alongside of Hillbilly's a good one. They're followed by Smoke and Source, who's third by a neck, keeping Buckmaster pinned down fourth on the inside. Three quarters in 133. Smoke and Source and Jimmy the Gun both moving up to challenge. Hillbilly's a good one. And Buckmaster has no place to trot. He's fourth and looking for a lane to open up. And they're in the stretch now. Smoke and Source trots on by and leads it by two. Jimmy the Gun is second. Now Buckmaster to third. A 16th to come. Smoke and Source by three. Buckmaster, then Holly Hill Eagle. And now Smoke and Source has made a break. Buckmaster coming. Photo finish. That's a photo for the win. It's either Smoke and Source or Buckmaster. But Smoke and Source did appear to be off stride at the finish. The time for the mile, 2.04 and 3. Now returning is the winner of the seventh race, and it is official, owned by Linda Beal of Altamont and John David Finn of Newton, trained and driven by J.D. Finn. Here's number four, Buckmaster. This two-year-old colt by Giant Triumph is from Noble Ruth by Noble Gesture, bred by Gary Williams and Richard Flacco. So the second winner of the day for breeder Richard Flacco and also another winner for the sire, Giant Triumph this afternoon. As Buckmaster picks up his fifth win of the season, owner Linda Beal is down trackside. Allie Tingley leads a reluctant Buckmaster into the winner's circle now for the seventh race. Again, the result is official. The time for the mile, 2.04 and 3.